here with the Clement Howell High School team, the winners of the fourth annual inter-high debate under the moot, be it resolved, nepotism is too costly for the Turks and Caicos Islands in which they oppose. How do you feel about your big win? Um, I don't know about everyone else, but I feel very ecstatic and excited and very proud of my whole entire team as well as myself because we worked very, very hard to get this. We stayed up at 2 a.m., 3 a.m., correcting our speeches, making sure that it is perfect. So I'm glad that our, all of our work paid off. <laughs> I feel very deserving of our position today in first place. Um, we worked really hard. Um, things were really kind of hectic yesterday, but we pulled ourselves together and came back and we won. So I'm really proud of everyone, including myself. Yeah, it was really good. So if there was anything that you have done differently, what would it be? Um, it would be my time management. I'd, I'd try to manage my time better and answer my point of information probably faster and more sufficiently. Um, so this is my first debate ever. So I'm very proud of myself. Um, I was very nervous at first, like when I first did my first part of the rebuttal, I was very nervous. I stopped many times, but yesterday afternoon I came back much stronger and today I came back even more stronger, so I'm very proud of myself. For me, well, I already know that I was the weakest speaker <laughs> found in the first time, the first time. But because I w this was my first time speaking to a large audience, um, so of course I was shy and uh, um, not confident in myself, but as the time grew and the other as we advanced to different rounds, I gained my confidence and this round I really came out of my shell and we delivered. That's why. <laughs> Thank so you. What advice would you give to students who tend to shy away from being incorporated into speaking events such as these? Well, um, my advice is to always believe in yourself and most times in these cases people will be nervous so my advice to you is to step back breathe count to ten and then proceed thank you <laughs> thank you i would like to thank all of the teachers that helped us miss harris thank you so much miss taylor mr monroe miss elliott as well as the principal who gave us our pep talk because initially we did not want to do this debate, but thanks to her, we ended up doing the debate, and <laughs> especially Miss Harris as well. So, yes. So, I have to ask you this question. Most times we see, because the Integrity Commission debate is different and where you have to prepare proposing and opposing, um, has it made any difference to you, to your thought process, to the way you look at things? based on having to prepare both versus knowing ahead of time and just preparing one side of the moot. Yes, I feel like this was a very good and well put together um, moot and idea because it, it um, reminds us to keep an open mind and not just look at one side, but look at the other side as well. So no one is wrong. Like you are right in your own way. You're allowed to have your opinion. So this, this was really good to remind us that everyone Everyone is right in some type of way because both of our teams, both the proposing team yeah, and the opposing battle. team, all of us, we had very strong points and we did really good. So this was a really good experience. Thank really you good. very much. That was our best speaker. And going forward, what words of advice or encouragement would you leave for those who may not want to be a part of the Integrity Commission into high debate? because they have to prepare both sides and because they see it as a lot of work. Is that, that is usually the sentiments that are being expressed and it's some people see it as a hindrance rather than an opportunity for growth. So what would you say to those schools, to those students? Don't stress yourself out too much. Don't think about the work, but think about how you will be compensated after because this is a really great learning experience as Danielle said, it broke her out of her shell. 
um, it showed me to speak confidently, more confidently than how I used to speak before because, um, in fact, I was actually, um, I was not the best speaker, but I won best speaker this year and I'm really proud of myself. So don't think about the amount of work, but just try and do your best because at the end of the day, it's really going to benefit you. Like Miss Dixie said, you win, you learn, you win, you win. So thank you very much, Clement Howell High, our winners for our 2019 fourth annual Inter High Debate. Thank you. Thank you. Eagles. Eagles. Eagles.